talking about real stuff, you know what I mean, that really matters and stuff that is not talked about. Right. Um, so this platform is for that, for you guys. Right, okay? right. Um, so my first question for you is, what has caused you to have low self-esteem or high self-esteem, like in general, in life? Okay. Yeah. So, um, what is caused? Guys, I'm going to answer that. But before I answer that, I'm just going to say one thing. And we'll probably put it up for you guys to see. Because a lot of people don't know, some people don't know what self-esteem is. Mm -hmm. And so we did, you know, make sure we got the dictionary version of what self-esteem is. So we're clear about it. Right, okay? right, right. So um, self-esteem is... Um, confidence in one's own worth or abilities self-respect okay so that's what we're talking mm -hmm. about we're talking about self-respect confidence in yourself confident in your confidence in your abilities within yourself that that's what we're talking about today so to go back to Ashley's question what she's gonna repeat because I talked so much and I've got <laughs> What does low self-esteem? Huh? Oh, what has caused low self-esteem in your life or high self-esteem? So, um, in my life, throughout my life as a kid, I went through a lot of depression, y'all. Um, didn't know it as a kid, but looking back, you know how when you get older, you can always look back. And yeah. You know, yeah. So, um, I feel like those moments had me in a place of low self-esteem because like if I went to school and let's just say I had a good day and it was a confidence booster what's your self-esteem uh come home and where's my mama I don't know you know um and so it was like a I was proud for the day but now I feel terrible right you know what I'm saying like it wasn't a self-esteem booster um I feel like I that for that question I've had those low self-esteem moments in school getting bullied you know yeah. because of my black beautiful skin right for your you melanin. know my melanin popping um when I was younger people didn't think melanin was popping you know so um, you know, I called, I got called all kind of crazy names, and I don't have to say what they were, but, you know, just crazy stuff. I uh, bet you they won't say it today. <laughs> they might, but I don't care, because I have high self-esteem oh. today, you know. Um, so, you know, I can, for that, anyways, for that kind of stuff, I can just be like, um, I don't really care about that kind of stuff, you know, because I know who I am, and I know that my skin is beautiful and oh yeah like being fat y'all know we working on our little journey but you know having little extra pounds and stuff that that was a self-esteem uh downer if you want to yeah. go like that it had given me low self-esteem you know because like i came from a black household where we had um greens beans potatoes tomatoes yams you name it you know that type of stuff and um, we didn't care. We wasn't watching the back of stuff. We was just putting it together and eating it. You know? And so, um, you know, that comes the pounds. And then when the pounds came on, the kids talk about you at school. Or I had adults say stuff, you know. Oh, I had, it's just being honest. So I always thought, you know, it gave me that little I'm not good enough type of feel. But as I became older, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, then I started to learn oh this is actually a good thing okay right, right. and um, I started to for me I was starting I started to boost my own confidence by looking myself in the mirror I should give me one I'm gonna show y'all what I did okay and if y'all got mirrors at home y'all can uh, bring up this mirror y'all if it's a little dirty y'all okay but I looked at myself just like this y'all and I would say stuff like Ooh, you know cuz I am looking pretty <laughs> But I was like, you you pretty. Your, your skin complexion is beautiful. Your black is beautiful. You are enough. You know, no matter what. I would tell myself those positive reinforcements to to boost my own confidence. And eventually, thanks Ash, 
I was able to say, hey, you know, to when people say stuff, I was able to let it fly right off and keep my head held high and um, not let it affect me like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, that was a good answer. Y'all answer the questions in the comments too. Yeah, you guys share some of y'all experiences with us too, you know? Right. That's what it's about. Right. All the questions we're asking, we want you guys to answer. Me and Ashley are just going to take turns answering because if we both answer both of the questions at the same time, we'll be here all day. Right. Okay. Y'all see how long it took me to answer her one question and we got a whole bunch more to go right. um so anyways and we will be answering these or talking about you know this episode tomorrow in our live you guys yes 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 and y'all go on our social medias that y'all should be following us on it's all at the end of these clips it's at the beginning of this clip and it's at the end of, the, of this uh episode too where it shows y'all all of our social medias follow us on them so y'all know what times we're going live you know, and make sure y'all turn on the post notification bell too, so y'all know when we post these videos. They can give you an alert. Well, YouTube will, anyways. Yeah. Okay, Ash. So, what does self esteem mean to you? Um, self esteem means self esteem. <laughs> um, self esteem. Uh, how you feel about yourself? To me, it's like, how do I feel about myself? Truly, how do I feel about myself? Um, do you want me to answer how I feel about myself or is that the question? Like, no, the question was just like, what does self-esteem mean to you? Because I gave the dictionary version, but yeah. you know how sometimes when we was growing up, we didn't know exactly, like some people didn't know what self-esteem Okay, well now, so as a kid, I didn't know that self-esteem was even a thing to have. Right. You know, okay. people said how they felt about me and I believe that to be true because who am I to have self-esteem? I didn't know what it was. Right. You know, in the household that I grew up in, it was just not talked about. It wasn't. Right. It wasn't talked about. It wasn't embraced. Um, uh -huh. I I felt like I did have low self-esteem because, you know, I was voluptuous at a young age and didn't really know what was going on with my body. Right. Um, and it gave me low self-esteem. Yeah. Um, but I didn't know that it was low self-esteem. Right. You know, looking back on it now, like you said, I knew it was depression, it was low self-esteem and all that kind of stuff. But to me, self-esteem is just how you feel about yourself. And, you know, that's from the inside out. Yeah, definitely. You know? Um, so it's kind of short and sweet. Okay. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, my next question for you is, how does being a plus-size woman affect your day-to-day -day life whether it's negative or positive okay so y'all <laughs> yes i have my size and we both are beautiful um, beautiful but yeah. um so it kind of goes back to the other stuff that i was talking about i didn't em embrace being plus size okay because i've been big my whole life literally um, from a kid all the way on up. I was one of the bigger kids, you know. Um, however, because of being talked about, I did not embrace being being uh, full-figured or whatever you want to yeah. call it. You know? yeah. I didn't embrace that. I thought that, you know, I'm the fattest thing ever. And it was like, I just uh, don't know how to control my eating. Like, I would be in my head a lot. And it didn't stop me from eating. It actually made me eat more because I was, it was depression went with that. And for anybody who knows about depression, mm -hmm. you know that, you know, you tend to go to the, yeah. yeah, emotional eating thing. Yeah. And, um, so I did that a lot. Um, and I have backstories as to why, like, it was like really hard, which we're going to be sharing that with you guys too, but not in this episode. Right. Um, but it was hard and so once I became an adult and I got a little boyfriend what night you know I um I embraced it more because it was like oh somebody likes me that type of thing that's what helped me to start embracing my body when like when I got in a relationship um to see that person not trip on the things I was tripping on mm -hmm gave me that confidence with my body that's real and to feel like you know 
well, dang, he he liked me and he ain't tripping when, mm -hmm. you know, he seen me with this on or he seen me without this on. Right. You know, like, it made me go, mm, being full figure, BBW, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. It's not that bad. You know, it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. Now, if you un unhealthy, right, <laughs> then you need to go ahead and, you know, correct some stuff. But if it's just yeah. naturally the body that you have and you are healthy, and when you go to those doctor's appointments, your doctor ain't saying nothing, then, you know, embrace that. Right. Because it's who you are. And um, I feel like a lot of us that are um, plus size need to definitely embrace our bodies because... This world, woo, we ain't even gonna yeah. ruin none of the other questions, but baby, it will make you feel like you the worst thing. But today, I love y'all. Let me say that again. I had to, I had to say it a little louder, y'all, because I, I could, like, y'all know I ain't trying to mess up my makeup, but I could really cry about it. Because mm -hmm. today, unlike when we was growing, like, in the 90s and stuff, y'all, we is embracing ourselves, ladies, That's plus nice. size. We is, hey. let me clap it up. We are embracing ourselves. I Definitely. see so many full-figured, beautiful, beautiful I mean, models gorgeous, like, out here, y'all. We is making them show us the respect that we deserve because we are human. No matter what, we still, we still just like anybody else, small, skinny, you know, thick or whatever. We we are we're all humans, and we, nobody should be treated differently because of the size that you are, or the color that you are, or what you believe in, or all that kind. Of, you shouldn't be treated differently. And I just am so happy for today's society, as far as that's concerned, where full-figured women are winning, I feel like. You yeah. know, we are winning. I'm not saying, and nobody else is, but we finally, finally, y'all hear me? We is finally not being looked at like we are disgusting and like we just have no feelings or no emotions. And I am so grateful for that. Yeah. So grateful. I am too. That's a good point. Yeah. Like, that is such a good we point. We came a long way, you know, and that's I'm something glad. to acknowledge. That's why I'm glad, too, because the platform that we have and we've created is for a space like this where even if in the world we are still struggling with that stuff, right? At Shauna X Ashley, can we talk? Yeah. You're safe here. Yeah. You know, it's a safe haven. Yeah, y'all. Right? So, yeah. yeah. I love it. We mean that. I mean, the ugly tears. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> even when we go live. Because me and Ashley, we cry babies, yeah. okay? Yeah. If we crying and you feel like crying, cry, baby. Who cares about what people say? And even if some people jump in the comments saying stupid stuff, ignore it. Yeah. Okay? And get get what you need. Get that healing that you need, okay? Yeah, definitely. Go ahead, Ash. Um, it's your turn to ask me a question. Is it? Yeah. No, okay. Oh, okay, girl. Um, okay. How does the world impact your self esteem? <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's why I said I wasn't going to get into another article. Um, <laughs> how does the world impact my self esteem? Wow. Yes. So it's impacted my self esteem probably more than I realized. Mm -hmm. You know, um, being African American, being a plus size woman, full figured, um, having imperfections. Yes. It yes. really, you know. Um, it's triggered like stuff that I didn't know I had, right. you know? Right. Um, so I feel like it definitely changed me maybe a little bit mm -hmm. to be more self-conscious about stuff that I really didn't care about, but I feel like social media and like, you know, the outsiders looking in, they kind of like prejudge you. So then yeah. you feel like, okay, well, I can't wear this or I can't yeah. do that. And, yeah. You know, yeah. now that I'm growing, you know, and I'm 35. Okay. 35. Okay. Um, okay. You know, I care less about that stuff. It doesn't right. matter to me. Now I'm like, okay, what what makes Ashley happy? Right. Ooh. What makes her happy? Ooh, Ash. Ooh. If I want to wear this and I'm happy wearing this, I'm happy wearing it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Um, and so that's where my mental is at now, and that, and that has a lot to do with therapy. Yeah. It has a lot to do with our conversations that we've had over the years. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. the bond that we've built because. <sighs> oh, so. I told y'all. Here you go, honey. It's okay. It is okay. Y'all, we was, you know, it's a safe haven here. And tears come because 
Ashley and I, Ashley and I, girl, don't make me cry. <laughs> Ashley and I, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> sorry. Because I want to talk, even though I know it's, you know, like it's cool to cry and stuff. But me and Ashley, we, we have a very special bond with each other. And we've been through a lot of stuff. And throughout the years, we've talked to each other. And sometimes, like, me and Ashley would go, like, a couple years and not even talk. Yeah. And, but when we came, we got that conversation. The next conversation we had, you would think that we have been talking. Like we never missed a day. Like we never missed a day. That's the kind of bond that we have. And when she cries, or if I cry, I know where that's coming from. Like, I know what she's going through. She knows vice versa. Right. And so it's like, this is this is a real, real big reason why we wanted to do this because yeah. we don't share our emotions with a lot of people. Yeah. But we've learned through therapy and talking to each other that it is very important for us to talk about it. Yeah. Can we talk? It is important for people in general to talk. We do not talk because we're so worried about other people and what they think, man. And it's like, you're hurting yourself, you know? Like, you're you're keeping yourself boxed in because you don't want to talk about it because somebody told you that was raising you that you can't talk about this stuff, you know? Yeah. And it's like, you need to talk about it because you're just carrying all of this yeah. baggage, y'all. And so, if y'all see us cry, we're crying not only because it's heavy, but because we're finally finding some sort of release. And we're overcoming. And we're over, yes, together. Yeah, together. And we're bringing y'all with us. And it's just, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I ain't gonna keep talking because y'all ain't trying to, I know y'all ain't trying to watch our video forever. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, pause it, you need to take a break, come back, okay? Yeah. But watch it, watch it in its entirety, go ahead. Okay. Thank you.